You want to edit page layouts in Salesforce. You're in the right place. Welcome to Salesforce Help Club, I'm Isaac, and this is a two minute tutorial. For more in-depth how-to videos, check out my detailed how-to series playlist. Okay, let's dive in. Page layouts in Salesforce help to determine what you see on a record page when a user clicks and views that record. So for this contact page that I've opened here for Miss Jane Gray, once I click on the details tab, I see a section of fields here that are available to me. If I click on the related tab, I can see a list of related records. And if I look in the top right, I can see some buttons that I have access to on this record page. Page layouts can help determine all three of these items and more. So if you want to move these fields around or add new fields to this page layout or remove fields from this page layout, then you want to edit the page layout. To get there in Salesforce, we are going to click on the gear icon. You want to be an admin to be able to do this. And then we'll click on edit object. And then we will click on page layouts. Now you can see that there are already four different page layouts here. Which one do I want to edit? Well, to know which page layouts are assigned to different people in Salesforce, we will click the page layout assignment in the top right. And this lets us see which page layout is assigned to which profile in the system. If I had multiple record types for this object, I would also be able to assign page layouts based upon those record types. So let's go back to page layouts. Let's just edit this standard contact layout because that's the most used in those assignments. Now, before I scroll down to show the actual page layout, I wanna show the toolbox up here at the top. This shows me a library of fields that are available, buttons and quick actions, related lists that are available for me to drag onto this page layout. So as I scroll down on this page layout, I'll see the fields and how they're broken up on the page layout. Then I'll see the related lists down here below in order. And then I'll see the buttons and actions up here at the top. So to change where fields are, all I have to do is drag and drop. Let's say I want that preferred name up here closer to the name field. I can just drag that up. Let's say I don't care about birth date. That's not something that my business cares about. So I'm gonna go here. I can click the remove button there. Let's say I also don't need assistant. I could click that remove button or I'll show you a different way I can drag it up here to the toolbox. Maybe I want a whole different section for different information so that I can organize my fields a little bit better here. I can grab this section from the toolbox, drag it down where I want it. Let's call this contact info. I want this to be two column, not just one column. And I want it to tab left to right instead of top down. Let's hit OK. Now I'll grab these contact phone numbers here, as well as the fax, the email, an assistant phone, so that I can have it in its own section here. And just to organize this, I'm going to bring the department, the title, reports to, and the account name over here to the right side. Down here for the related list, as I scroll down, I can click on the related lists up here in the toolbar to see what's available to me. I want files on this contact record so that I can drag and drop files from my desktop to be related to this contact in Salesforce. So I'm gonna drag files, drag it to the place I want it within this list, and then click save. All right, we saved our page layout. I should be able to go back to the contact, hit refresh, and see these updates that I've made. You can see I have files here in the related list. If I click on details, I can see I now have this contact info section down below. I have my other fields that I've moved around up top and I've successfully made the changes that I wanted to. Make sure to subscribe for more two minute tutorials in the future or videos on how to advance your Salesforce career. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.